Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Matthew Justice. She is the WSU Spirit Champion, Marty Bell. And her opponent, he is the ace of Beyond Wrestling, Jocka. Ladies and gentlemen, this is John Harder here in the NYWC Sportatorium in Deer Park, New York, as this is the first of three WSU vs. Beyond matches, first time ever happening in the squared circle, and we have the ace of Beyond Wrestling, Jocka, going one-on-one -on -one with Marty Bell, and this is not, this is not looking good right away. Jocka grabbing the throat of Marty Bell as he takes off his babushka, as I was told. But look at this! Yeah, Marty Bell really clocked him. Of course, earlier today we saw Jocka going one-on-one -on -one with Matthew Justice, who has accompanied Marty Bell to ringside. We've seen an alliance between those two at Beyond Wrestling, the first time we've seen it here at WSU. Denver, Colorado also next to me right now. I believe they are dating, but we're not really sure on that. But nice head scissors takeover by Marty Bell on Jocka nearly going. Bell controlling this contest, running butt bump right to the mush, Denver. Looks like Marty Bell is looking to follow it up. He's turning herself into a cannonball right in the corner. Vicious delivery from the small but pesky spirit champion. Here's a cover. Only two says referee Johnny Q. Of course, in just a few hours, it's going to be Marty Bell making the first defense of her spirit title against Nikki Adams. You know, she won that championship at the Uncensored Rumble 5 in this very venue on June 16th. But right now, you know, she had the upper hand going there, but Jocka threw a shot right to that thigh. She fought with a boot right to the face. I think it's worth noting that she won that match with a little help. Oh, a lot of help from the WSU, for, at then the WSU world champion Mercedes Martinez, interfering that caused Jessica Havoc, the then spirit champion of the championship. Irish whip off the ropes from, from Jocka. Underneath goes Marty Bell. Bell for a and Jocka pulling her by the hair. I believe that is illegal. Well, yeah, it's definitely illegal. He's going to be risking his qualification just slamming her down to the mat. He's going to be looking for that rolling thunder headbutt, and it finds the mark in the sternum. Nicely done from the Jocka there. Johnny Q, shoulder is up. Oh, great call from referee Johnny Q saying the shoulder was up. Great call. Jocka has to keep going in this contest. But you know, Denver, Colorado, I got to say this. When it comes to Jocka, he's taking a vow of silence until he's the number one ranked wrestler beyond wrestling. And despite the vow, he is doing a fantastic job in that squared circle. Matthew Justice pulling Marty Bell out of the ring. Well, none of the champion's titles on the line. None of the points on the line. Oh, what a but shot. But Jocka, perhaps having unfinished business between him and Justice, and now Marty Bell just responding with another shot to the chest. The forearm catching him under the chin. Oh, and just sending him moving the guardrails across the building and just oh. running it with a kick, too. Underrated tendon strength from Marty Bell, the spirit champion, showing her underrated strength. Irish whip into the guardrails. Jocka did not expect that. He's writhing on the floor in pain from that guardrail. Well, Marty Bell, I mean, it, it was almost as if she was incensed when she saw Matthew Justice being attacked. Well, you know, Matthew Justice again. Definitely has a close relationship with Marty Bell, and he's holding that spirit championship. Marty won back on June 16th proudly, and he might be the wild card in this contest as you've seen. Yeah, but you know, again, Marty Bell had so many people helping her out in that contest. I mean, some have been been calling her a fluke. I don't know if I would say that based on what I've seen that she's capable. I, I think that she's going to be a very good, you know, spirit champion here in WSU. You know, she's going to have to get past Nikki Adams first. Oh, are you kidding me? I don't even know if she's going to make it to Nikki Adams with the way Jock is turning her apart. A few chops to the pectoral region, now beeling her out of the corner by her hair. I'm amazed referee Johnny Q hasn't decided to get in Jocka's face and tell him to let go of the hair. Reversal of the Irish whip. That's shocking from Marty Bell. Universal catching with a bicycle roundhouse kick to the midsection, falling up with a forearm shiver right to Jocka's mush. Oh! That rolling forearm. That was a bizarre a, position hit it, but effective no, nevertheless. Absolutely. Normally you would think you would see a normal elbow drop but a tornado motion. Just add that momentum. Just vicious delivery. And Marty Bell showing ferociousness on Jocka here. I, I didn't expect this going into this contest. Yeah, but perhaps taking too much time. And now Jocka looking for a shortcut, bring, bringing her to the corner. Jocka digging those 
solid left shoulders into the midsection of Marty Bell. The Spirit Champion taken over by the be by the Beyond Wrestling Ace, and now there's a there's a, tr a trapezius claw hold on that right shoulder, that right clavicle region, Denver. Well, Jock is looking for some mission victory right here. At the very least, he's going to try and suck the life out of the right side of Marty Bell, so he's not going to be able to use the upper body to create any offense. I thought it was very smart there from Jocka as he actually locked that trapezius claw affecting the shoulder and actually went for a cover trying to prevent the shoulder up from Marty Bell, but she found a way to kick out regardless. Now just slamming her down on the mat, got in the leg hooked. The stocky Jocka really just displaying his dominance right now using that solid head that Samoans tr traditionally have and he's using it to his advantage as he has some firm control of the WSU Spirit Champion. And yeah, now just choking right in front of us. He's gonna throw it up against the rope, pulling away at our face, risking disqualification and biting the top rope. Very sadistic offense from Jocka. Well, Jocka, very, Jocka in firm control. Matthew Just is trying to will Marty Bell back to health here, at least trying to give her some words of wisdom. And she's looking, at, maybe the motivation did such. She's delivering boots right to the midsection. She's Denver. found the opening that she needs. She's got that space. She's created the distance, but can't she capitalize? Well, able to block the punch, responds with a forearm of her own, and again, and now another rolling forearm. This time from the standing variation, following up, Marty Bell throwing some serious tornado she, elbows. She's got Jocka down. There's a cover. Still only good for a two count. Johnny Q keeping it down the line, keeping a fair count, so Marty Bell needs to keep the advantage going here. Ramming the head into the corner and uh, out, of, out of instinct alone, that was a mistake. If she had Jocka scouted coming to this contest, she, she would have known that that wasn't the smartest maneuver. Not a word out of his mouth. That, <gasps> I don't know if that was smart smacking the taste out of Jocka's mouth. It's only going to fire up that much more. No. Uh -oh. And here we go. This is standard Jocka offense right here. The shots to the midsection, the headbutts. That is some old school wild Samoan combination there, Denver. Oh, here we go. He's firing up here. Jocka now grabbing Bell by the back of the head, taking him to the center of the ring. He's looking to finish her off, perhaps. Maybe looking for a vertical suplex. Oh, Not able to get it, though. Marty Bell putting on the brakes. And now able to connect the inside cradle. Only, Only a two. You know, Jocka's shoulder was up, so if there was a three count counter there, I would definitely have seen Jocka's side of view, but nonetheless. Oh, no, going for that choke bomb. Go on, he's got her up. Oh, Marty Bell going to the eyes. I mean, oh. desperate times call for desperate measures. Marty Bell trying to keep herself alive in this match. Absolutely. Marty Bell really showing a lot of heart and fire here in this first of three WSU versus Beyond matches. Looking for a double underhook. What could she be thinking of here? Well, perhaps try, trying to drive Jocka face first onto the mat, but instead. Oh, there's that straight jacket triangle choke. Yeah, the jaws of the Jaguar. Now, Matthew Justice getting up on the apron, distracting the official. We've seen this before in the earlier contest with Jocka and Matthew Justice. Marty Bell did the same. And again, that came into play. Jocka just might have. Jocka talking some serious Samoan trash right to Matthew Justice. Oh! What a five finger say to the face. Whap! And meanwhile, Matthew Justice just close fisted Jocka right in the back of the cranium. Oh, now Marty kicking him in the face. Even a Samoan could not withstand that. Oh! Double underhook face buster there by Marty Bell. Could this be it? She might have caught Jocka there. And it is! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, the WSU Spirit Champion, Marty Bell! What a victory for Marty Bell in the first of three WSU vs. Beyond matches. Yeah, but with Marty Bell going into that big title match tonight, I mean, the question still remains whether or not she's a fluke. I mean, she won that match, but with the help of Matthew Justice. Can she get it done later on tonight at full steam ahead against Nikki Adams in the Spirit Championship defense?